What is up? My name is Ben Dunn, and today is episode number eight of the Route 235, where we bulk up to 235, but I don't tell you guys how much I weigh until I actually weigh 235. Now, today, we're getting more into the bulk, because it's Christmas, gyms are closed, so I'm literally just eating. To start off the day, chocolate Fairlife, drank this at work, and second meal, oh wait, first, I should probably say the calories. Um, 840 off the top of my head, 78 protein, 78 carb, because it has a one-to-one -one carb to protein, protein ratio. Meal number two, half a pound of 93.7 gr natural ground beef, and two cups of jasmine rice with some teriyaki sauce. Alright, it is 4.54, 4.54, time for meal number three, which is the same as meal number two. The same two cups of white rice. Half a pound, 93.7 lean ground beef cooked with extra virgin olive oil and Parmesan cheese and garlic salt topped with some teriyaki sauce. This is such a good meal, but unfortunately right now it just tastes like pain, honestly. But pain builds muscle. Calories build muscle and calories build pain. So by the transit property, we're going to get huge. Of course, the one day that I was filming my bulk and like all my meals, I actually messed up. So after that third meal, I was watching Yellowstone with my dad and just passed out, woke up at 5.30 in the morning. So I only had three meals yesterday. Not ideal, not ideal at all. It also wasn't a training day, so I have two less meals when I don't train because on training days, I usually have a pre-workout snack and a post-workout like usually slam one of those 42 gram of protein Fairlife shakes that they have at Wawa and like a Gatorade protein bar before the gym. So that's an extra 600 calories because it's 240 plus 360. So yeah, six. so that would be 600 extra calories on a training day, which I, I think makes sense for training versus non-training. First meal today, got four whole eggs. They, these, I must note, are brown eggs, better genetics. Uh, a little bit of oatmeal, spoon of peanut butter, and honey. And usually I put bananas in these, but we don't have any bananas, so two clementines. Same thing as yesterday's vlog. I'm in the gym parking lot, ready to start like pre-workout, getting hype, and gotta take shit. Yesterday, Barnes & Nobles was pretty mid. So, actually it was two days ago, I just posted it yesterday, but... The day before Christmas Eve, Barnes & Nobles was pretty mid. I, their bathroom was pretty mid. And I mentioned that Taco Bell usually, ha usually gets you right. Not the food, but the public bathroom does. The food does not get you right at all. Food gets you probably going to their public... That's probably why their public bathroom is so good, because of the fucking food that they serve. But anyways... Let's see uh, see if the Taco Bell public restroom is where it's at. I'm going to give the Taco Bell bathroom a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 9.5, but here's why it is a 9 instead. They have two bathrooms. That usually makes sense, right? A woman's bathroom and a men's bathroom? No. They had two bathrooms, one woman's bathroom, and one family bathroom. Come on. I, like, like I, I, I get y'all, you guys went through some shit back in the 50s and before that, basically up until maybe like the last 30 years, but come on, like, we don't, it, we don't get our own bathroom now? Really? See, it seems slightly unwarranted to me. I don't know what, I don't know what's up with the Taco Bell franchise. Maybe they got a female CEO. But solid bathroom, very clean. I love that their urinals go all the way to the floor, so they uh, no, you don't have to worry about the splash. Nine out of 10, wood shit there again. So for today's pre-workout, my dad actually told me to get a real job. So that, that's enough pre-workout for me. We don't have too much time left, guys. We don't have too much time left. I, I can't really make more mistakes. Gotta post either every day or every other day, stick to what I've been doing. Can't, can't miss two days in a row. You can miss one day, but you can't miss two days in a row. 
because that's when the bad habit starts to form. As of right now, I don't have a backup plan. My, my backup plan is basically go back to school if I flop by August. And August is coming. Eight, eight more months. 2023 has to be our year. I mentioned earlier about the cons. I responded to the question saying, like, do your parents support you? And I was like, no, not really. Like, but I'm not really trying to gain their support. I just want to be happy, pay my bills. Yeah, do what makes me happy for a living. But if doing what makes you happy isn't paying the bills, then you got to find something else out. That's the difference between a career and a hobby. When I make it, I might just... I might just tell my parents that I'm really poor, even if I'm not, and then, I don't know, like, buy them a car or something, tell them that all, do, all my stupid camera shit is what, bought, is what paid for this car. That would be a big dick move. I do have a discount code for the new clothing company that I'm working with. You probably heard about them because I've been wearing their stuff for a while. I finally just decided like, yeah, like toss me a code I've been promoting for a while. Might as well uh, get paid for it. So, uh, flux code been done for 20% off. The website's pretty dry right now because I, I reached out to him after the last drop saying like, yeah, like toss me a code for the next drop. The cheapest, like best quality clothing I've been able to find in a while. It's literally 12 bucks for what I believe is better than Young LA quality. The hoodies are actually gas. Uh, you saw my buddy wearing it at Iron Revolution in that vlog, I think like two vlogs ago. The owner's a great guy. In my bio, I'm gonna plug both my discount code, the owner's Instagram, and the Flux Instagram. I believe this company has a ton of potential for 2023. Really amazing quality. It honestly reminds me of what the Young LA website looked like when I started working with them. And I started working with Young LA before they had 10K on Instagram. I believe Flux right now is like 2.5K or something like that. And we're to the moon, baby. To the fucking moon. I'm going to let the clothing speak for itself. So if you guys want to support, use that code. Every time someone uses my discount code, screenshots it, and sends it to me, I'll make you guys a personal video. You can choose whether or not like, you end up in a YouTube vlog, or I could just DM you a private video. The thing that got me a lot of code usages with Young LA was how I, I had the Young LA code Ben Dunwall in my old frat house room. Unfortunately, some of the newer guys painted over it. It also had two ex-girlfriends Instagram handles on it, so that's probably a good thing. By the end of this week, I will be temporarily moving to a different city in a different state. I'll let you guys guess in the comment section where I'm moving. Your hints are that it's not Houston and it's not LA. But those are two pla those are two places that I do want to spend time in in the future, but right now it's just not the time. I've been filming mostly in my car cuz I don't want my parents to see me filming cuz they don't really support it. Having my own place, it'll be nice that I can just do whatever the fuck I want. I can I can vlog my meals, I can cook and say whatever I want. It'll be nice. It'll add a lot of, a lot more character to these vlogs. Not just me sitting in my car waiting to go to the gym, talking my rah rah. I might even post like two a day vlogs if I can. I don't even know. Like the sky's the limit. I haven't had this much freedom to film in a while. I know some people out there, you always have support from especially your close family, no matter what your aspirations are, but not everyone has that. And it, it can be tough, it can be demotivating. You just can't let it affect you too much. Use it as motivation to not exactly prove them wrong, but show your parents that 
uh, their son or daughter is capable of the world because they they want to see you succeed. They just don't think that what you want to do is the best way for you to succeed, especially if it's a career line that they don't understand or they're not, they've never been heavily involved in. Your parents can guide you in a certain direction, but at the end of the day, they can't force you to, to take that direction. So if you have a hobby and you want to make it into a career, I think you should spend at least, at least a year of your life trying to turn that hobby into a career. And if you don't make enough money from that hobby, that's, it, it can still be a hobby. You can still do another job while working on making that hobby a career. And if you turn that hobby into a career while you're working another job, you can quit that job that you hate and turn to your career. So that's the goal. I'd say around August, if I'm not if I'm not pulling in like four grand a month, then I got to reevaluate my career options, but I can still do fitness. I'm never going to stop doing fitness. Doing what we love on three. Doing what we love on three. One, two, three. Doing what we love. I put down now I'm at a disadvantage, but I think that it's worth it. I put my headphones on. I play my favorite song. I go to sleep and try again Mama used to try and tell me no man is an island But I think I feel like drifting away Mama used to say tomorrow never comes So make the most but I think I am done with today I think I am done with today done hitting legs there's like that five minute cooldown period in which every unexpected movement below your hip just results in basically a seizure yeah I, I had about three of those on my walk from the gym to my car that could also just be a me problem because my hips are tighter than a virgin's pussy oh I shouldn't <laughs> oh my god that might just be a me problem because my hips are tighter than a fishing line with Moby Dick on the other end. Post-workout, I made a dispo run in Jersey, so on the way there, I had one of those Gatorade protein bars, 20 grams protein, 360 calories. And now I'm home like 20 minutes later, gonna drink one of these muscle milks. 40 grams of protein down the hatch. Let's try to hit a 40 grams of protein PR. Gotta get that little whirlpool effect. Uh, 
anything. Fuck. Still counts, right? Alright, 39.5 grams of protein. I've been getting a lot of comments asking about my hair, what's up with it, has it grown back since I got my buzz cut in however long ago. Well, I think that was in October, I want to say. I'm going to get a haircut right now, and then we'll reveal what's underneath this dome. Haircut is complete. I faded up the sides, didn't get any off the top. The top is, even though it's shorter, it is feeling a lot thicker, which is a great thing. And I spent a lot of time at the barber shop, so got another meal. Four pieces of toast, four whole eggs, some Parmesan cheese over. Then we got an apple. There was a second apple, but I ate it in the car on the way home. All right, I have to get editing, so that's going to do it for the vlog today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever time you're seeing this. Love all of y'all. Thanks for the support. Let's do great things. Peace.